we will prove the mid-segment theorem for a triangle. And the theorem states the following, that if you have a triangle and you find the midpoints on two of its sides and you connect them, then the resulting segment is parallel to this base and half its length. A very nice theorem from geometry. Okay, so how are we going to prove it algebraically? The whole point of vector algebra and vector calculus is to be able to carry out geometry in an algebraic way. So here we're going to do what we often do, which is pick an arbitrary point, call it the origin, and then point a vector to every vertex of the triangle from this so-called origin. A, so you can think of it as A, the point, but also A, vector. So here I'll leave it as A, the point, but then when I do my algebra, I'll do A, vector. B, as we like going in counterclockwise direction, and C. Okay, now let's express this point right here. It deserves some names, uh, R, S. Once again, R the point, but I will use R the vector. When I say R vector, it means I'm talking about the vector that points from this, from the origin to this point. That's what R vector is. I just don't want to make the drawing messy. So let's express R in terms of A and C. And of course, R equals, just say it out loud, A plus C over two. Let's do the same thing for the vector S. S equals, I'll say it, B plus C over two. Okay, we can now express this vector right here because it is S minus R. Do we give it a name? Yes, I will call this vector uh, little m. Let's see what's gonna happen. Little m equals S minus R. And I will now, and then I will plug in those expressions and you will see what will happen. C will cancel and we'll end up with doing S minus R, we'll end up with B minus A over two. And what's nice, this is where the nice moment happens because now we're just doing algebra. We're manipulating this, these expressions mathematically. And that's sort of the power of what's going on. We're converting geometry to algebra. And we end up with, and that actually completes the proof because B minus A is this vector right here. That's B minus A. The tip of B connects to the tip of A and it points this way. So that's B minus A. And this mid-segment right here is B minus A over two. Therefore, it points in the same direction and has half the length. And the proof is complete. Here's the theorem. Suppose you have an arbitrary quadrilateral. Notice I tried to make it as arbitrary as possible and you select midpoints on each of its sides, you always end up with a parallelogram. So the opposite sides are parallel to each other and are equal. Okay? So I've labeled each one of the vertices, I've labeled each one of the midpoints, and I've expressed each one of the midpoints in terms of all the vertices. So I will now express this vector right here, and I'll compare it to this vector right here. And hopefully, they're equal as vectors, and that will prove that they're parallel and have the same length. And that will conclude the proof that RSTU is a parallelogram. So let's see what happens. So T, this vector right here, is T minus U.
Okay, that's T minus U. And now S minus R equals, let's see, S minus R. Here, A's will cancel, and we have B minus D over 2. And so these two are equal as vectors, which means that they're parallel and have equal lengths, which proves that RSTU is a parallelogram. Alternatively, you could have also proven that this side right here is parallel to this side, which is an alternative definition of the parallelogram. You can either say that two sides are parallel in equal length, or you can say that the two sets of opposite sides are parallel. Those are equivalent definitions, okay? So once again, we have established a pretty sophisticated fact from geometry using elementary algebra. And that's in a way the whole point, is to combine the powers of algebra and geometry.